What's up, cut stains and cut et stains? I'm mixed dead. Why you stutter? Because I couldn't think of anything creative, which is unusual. <laughs> and I miss his mixed dead. With the, the cut stain on your shirt. Eve, you need to wash this, actually. You gonna take it off for me? Yeah. Right now? No. Oh, God. I have a tank top on, but still. A man can't get lucky at all. Mickey's. Mickey's. Mmm, happy. Moliker Tuesday, Jesus Christ. I, <laughs> Are you struggling? My day should get better. I go back to work tomorrow, <clears throat> finally, after five, a little over five weeks mm -hmm. off work. The longest period I have not worked in, in your life? Uh, <laughs> probably since college. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Um, it's kind of wild. <laughs> it's like I'm starting all, all over again. Oof. Ah. But it'll be good to get back on schedule, get my days back on track. Malt liquor. Cheers, Mrs. McStud. It's a malt liquor, or Mrs. McStud's puzzle time. It. Again? Yes. This is an easy six pack for you. This one could have been a little tricky. I'm going to say shit, different shit in my can head. I, can I look at it? Let's, let's see here. In your bed. Mm hmm. Wow. The box threw me off there for a second. It did me too. <clears throat> mm. Oh, that is tasty. Have you tried yours yet? Yes. Yes. Uh, oh my God. So yes, it's Tuesday. <clears throat> Another exciting day in the McStud household. Um, I read an interesting article today from a supposed expert doesn't think concerts or any large crowds or sporting crowds will happen until the fall of 2021. So, my question is, why did the kids ask if school is opening back up? I don't know. So, has that, like, been going around? Um, but they already closed them for the year, so I don't, they can't go I back think there now, was confusion. The governor, governor was talking, and I kind of looked at the comments, and, uh, Something about the school's already closed for the year came up. I don't know if there was some confusion in his thing, but there's they're they're already the plans are already done. Yeah. And I highly doubt at this point, especially since they don't think Indiana's gonna peak until early May that they'll even try. Try. I mean, there's only a few weeks <clears throat> of school left at that point. Yeah. My and kids get out May twenty is it May twenty first or twenty eighth? Somewhere in that and in end of the month. But it would be uh, kind of pointless since they've been doing e-learning. What really are they going to go back to school for and start and do anything big on in three weeks? Right. I mean, they can, like, learn some small shit or a little bit of stuff here and there, but nothing they can build on through a, a uh, semester. And what they are learning now, I don't think they're really going to build on. No. Other than math, maybe. It's busy work. Yeah. Stupid busy work. The uh, joys of the e-learning phase of our lives where parents have to work and teach. And that sucks a bag of dicks. Mm -hmm. That sucks a major bag of dicks. And the kids don't understand why everything's closed and they can't do anything. And it's horrible. Mm -hmm. It really is. It is. And it's, uh, it's like living in a house full of People full of cabin fever. It's yes. been stuck in a snowstorm for three months. Yes. And. The most our kids have been is. In the car. In the front yard. In the yard and then in the car. In the car, yeah. Yeah. It's fucking, fucking nutty. <clears throat> but on a side note, you have beautiful breasticles. Seriously. I'll drink to that. <laughs> all day, every day. If. <clears throat> what you want. Very good, actually. <laughs> How was your day, Miss McStud? It was long. I'm tired. Yeah, we had a long night last night. Crazy dumb shit. Had to divorce sleep. <laughs> it sucked. <laughs> Unfortunately. Which, yes, it did suck. And only four <laughs> hours at that. Yeah, and like... I literally heard my alarms exactly four hours after. I went to bed. I laid down at 3.11. Yeah. And I heard my alarm at 7.15. Yeah, I, I must have got up at some point. I, I I just I came in here and finished my beer and went to sleep. 
but I, I couldn't get comfortable, so I had to put stuff under, like, the, the pillow works fine any other given night when you're in the bed. I don't know if it's because when you lay on the bed, it sinks me down a little further, or what, but I just couldn't get my head comfortable, so I was trying to get it propped up, and it didn't really help, and it was just, uh, it's always an interesting time trying to sleep the whole night without you. Sorry. No, it's okay. Did he come check on me? I was asleep. Oh, you said I came you got back up. I didn't know. Oh, I came out there, but I, you were, yeah, I walked through, but that's it. I was sound asleep. Yes. Um, Made them kids lay down, mm -hmm. lay their dumb shit down, and went to bed. Yeah, I, I, I didn't even have to threaten. If you wake me up, then you're going to be in trouble. I didn't threaten anything. I just went to bed. I, I, I must have unplugged my phone. I and, remember you saying that this and morning. And sat it back on the desk or the <laughs> nightstand. And I remember it was like 7.33 when I heard it. Like, and it registered in my head that it's time to wake up. I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I went out there to see if you were awake and you were at that point. Sort of. Sort of. I, face, I got, a, got my phone face planted. I brought your charger back in, by the way. What do you mean? In the oh, room. in here? Yes. Okay, thank you. Malt liquor, bitches. I will be sleeping in bed tonight. Thank goodness. I need some nice warm titties laying on my chest. But I probably will go to bed earlier than you. Ew, I don't know. I don't you think gotta so. Work. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, it's going to be a fun first day back to work. Um, but I'll be doing easy stuff. My back's still fucked up, so I won't be doing anything crazy. Hopefully it still works out fine. We shall see. 8.30 to 5.00. When are you going to your chiropractor? Trying to figure that out. I'm not sure. I might have to work that out after I get there. I'm not sure. When would be a good time? I mean, it opens at 3, so I could leave at like 2.45. Be there at 3, get it done, and come back. Or you could just leave at 4. But you're supposed to work till 5. Yeah. Never mind. I'm gonna have to leave for a certain amount of time anyway. Yeah, why don't you three days a week. Take a long lunch or something. I could. <clears throat> I'll take the longest lunch you've ever seen, baby girl. Yeah, you're gonna have to do that on Wednesday and Friday this week because you have to get mm -hmm. make a trip, and I have to be at work, and gotta figure all that out. Thought about a. Uh, thought about leaving at a uh, noon. Friday, and then getting everything done and being back, potentially. Hmm. It was just a thought. Early in the day, get back home. Everything's done. Hopefully, yeah. no dumb shit, and be back in plenty of time to get you. Yeah. Yeah. It was just a just an idea. I could probably leave his name with you. Oh yeah, really. It's Friday. Busy for us. Well, you you always say you have the uh, <laughs> the headshot half hour at at two forty five. You're stupid. There it is. You're stu. I am not stupid, Miss McStud. I'm very intelligent. Okay, then dumb fuck. That's my other favorite. Word. I am not a dumb fuck. I'm very intelligent. Why can't you just With call stupid me knowledge? Why can't you call me a fuck stick? Well, you're probably all the above. D. Only Speaking about. of stupid knowledge, I, I probably wouldn't do good on Jeopardy, but I wonder if uh, Wheel of Fortune ever viewed my submission video. They I don't get, know, but that would be cool. They get millions of every every year, so I'm Damn, probably... Damn, as many times you were in Speedway, and I still don't show you the fucking lottery ticket I wanted. I was trying to look, but I couldn't figure out... It's or, on the... If you're facing it, it's on the left-hand side. How much is it? Five bucks. It's got green, money's on green. it. Green. We've actually had that one before. It's got, I think, a thousand at the top. Or yeah, I've got, I've gotten that one before for us. Um, but I really like my seven ones too. I think this weekend's gonna be lottery ticket weekend. Lottery ticket weekend. Lottery ticket. And I found me a dog tonight, so oh. that's kind of luck. Found us a dog. That it, dog's mine, anyways. Shit. I have been wanting that thing for a minute. I'll see who he loves more. <sighs> Well, that's not fair because I work two jobs. <laughs> Dickhead. I'll come home and you'll be all curled up with them. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Go see mama. 
No, it, 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 literally, it's a pug. It looks like the pug from Men in Black, which I think is fucking awesome. Because <laughs> as soon as you show me the picture, I'm like, that's the Men in Black dog. And I Googled it, and I was like, yep. His face is this is a bit darker, though. He's got the tan, the tan fur and a dark face. We've got a picture. Oh, shit, we got a picture. You know what we can call him? What? Buster Hyman. Right? What's that? The Hyman. You know, that's what? Your cherry that breaks when you have sex? Ew! Buster Hyman. No! I don't know if y'all can see that. That's the little guy. Uh, we've been looking for a dog. And we kind of expected some uh, reasonable upfront costs. We weren't trying to spend thousands on a pet, though, either. But, you know, we figured a couple hundred or so. And Miss McStud found this one, luckily. And all they want is $50. And the post didn't even say that. or They can't post prices on the website. Yeah. Or the... So we're looking to meet up with them potentially this weekend. And come home with a new family member. <laughs> which would be cool. Well, the kids are excited. Which would be nice. It'll be interesting. It'll be a very well-loved yes. pet. And we got your girls this weekend until mm -hmm. Wednesday so it can get accustomed to... No, they'll fucking oh, yeah. love them too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Old Buster's going to have a good time here. <laughs> he might get a taste. And I get a spoil He might get a taste of the black... Can you imagine him carrying a black destroyer around? Oh, my God. Mouth? It's bigger than him. <laughs> Here goes Buster with the big black dick. <clears throat> so we gotta go pet shopping like treats and dog food. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Uh, now, if you ever get those dog treats that look like T-bone steaks, they smell like T-bone steak, but they do not taste like T-bone steak. <laughs> I know from experience. My only thing is, do you think those pugs would tear my couch? Have you ever seen them pictures of dogs like scratching at the couch and shit and... <sighs> But it's almost a year, mm -hmm. around a year, so do you think it's out of that stage? I don't know the temperament of pugs. They seem to be pretty <clears throat> playful and calm. Calm. I don't know what they do when everyone's asleep. Um, like I said, the kids will have to put their shit up. Um, our kids like to leave fucking candy all over the place. My kids already asked me where I was going to sleep at. Well, it's going to sleep probably in the living room. Well, it might sleep with us. Yeah, but, well, if, it, if so once... <laughs> Um, I don't mind that at all until it wants to separate us and be that dog. You know, the big dogs that come in and want to lay right between but It's two not people. a big dog anyway. I know, but you know, the ones yes. I'm talking about, they're like, oh, like no. my parents' dogs. They got to be cuddled up in between us because yes. it's like comforting. And it's <laughs> kind of like, oh, mom and dad's here. That's worse than a fucking kid. <laughs> now... Maybe old Buster can, well, Buster can't find a place at the foot of the bed in our bed on my side because my feet hang to the end of the goddamn bed. <laughs> so what would happen is, this is what happens with cats. They come in, they lay on you, and they lay on your leg. And you're comfortable until they lay on your leg, and then you want to move your leg. Like, God, I'm not comfortable anymore. And they're like, and then you don't want to disturb them, so you just sit there. It's kind of like having a wife. They lay on you, and you're comfortable, and you're like, oh, I need to adjust. It kind of the same thing. I don't know what it is. Like you're comfortable. Like in bed, I love you laying on me. Though uh -huh. I don't get that. But like on the couch, I'm fine. When you lay on me, then I'm like, oh wait. Then you fall asleep. I'm like, oh, I gotta pee. Fuck. That shit pisses me off. I don't like to be woke up. Well, you like to lay on me when I'm when we've been drinking. Like you know, I gotta pee. Well, that ain't my fault. <laughs> and I feel bad. I I'm guess don't drink. <laughs> the funny thing is, I'm gonna lay on you. The funny thing is like. I will look for, like, if we have a pillow next to us or a blanket. I know, you said And I'll it. squeeze it in between and try to... I know, you do that. Work it out because I love you and I care. Yes, you do. <laughs> and I'm fucking very spoiled and I have no idea what the fuck I'm going to do tomorrow. Since you can't go get me coffee and breakfast for you back. I have been bringing Miss oh, McStud's wow. Starbucks and some sort of breakfast. Usually we've been getting the Baconator breakfast sandwich from Wendy's, which is fucking stellar. Um, but... She, I, I'm not a McDonald's person, but she loves McDonald's McGriddles. So I went and got her a McGriddle, and I got me the... Where, what McDonald's did you go to? Oh, right there. On, on the right there side. by across from Wendy's. Huh. Yeah. The um, only thing we didn't have while you were off was Hardee's. 
we ain't got a Hardee's that I want to go to up here. Like we do, but I don't want to go to it. Yeah. Like the nicest one is probably in Pendleton, and last time we were there, it was a fucking chaotic mess. Was it? Yes. Why? Do you not remember that? I remember being there. I don't remember being chaotic. We waited fucking forever. A hard. It was just the girls as yeah. They were late for skating. That was Wendy's. Oh, that was Wendy's. Yes, that was Wendy's. Never mind. Yeah, that was the Wendy's. <laughs> um. That was before the whole quarantine thing. Yeah. It was like a Friday night and they were, it was stupid. But no, the last time I went to Hardee's, um, I actually think I got the tacos. Because one of those Hardee's that got the red burrito in it. Mm -hmm. And their tacos, like, I'm sorry, but Hardee's makes some pretty stellar fucking soft tacos. Now, their burgers they advertise are a different story. Uh, how many years ago was this? I can't, I keep forgetting how many years we've been up here and... It was back when we lived in Newcastle. We've been up here five years. And uh, Hardy's had the Mile High Bacon Burger. Looks amazing on the picture. I'm like, yes, I want the Mile High Bacon Burger. And so we got it to go when we took it home. Like, everything looks good. Like, it's in the pack. I didn't, I'm, I'm, I didn't open it. It was there. That's all I needed to know. They got it in there. I'm cool. <laughs> I come home and open my Mile High Bacon Burger, and on the picture, there's strips of bacon flowing out the sides of this burger. And I open it, and I don't see any bacon on it, just from my general glance. I'm like, where's my bacon? It's not Mile High, second of all. So I pull <laughs> the top part of the bun off, and it's like they threw some fucking bacon bits right in the center of the bitch. And I fucking took a picture of this, and I made a video about this, directly referencing that particular store. And I posted it on that store's Facebook page. And they removed it. <clears throat> the fucking cocksuckers. <laughs> like, it was late, too, that night we got that. So like we, were, we were about to get that fuck back out. Yeah. And I'm like, these rotten bastards done fucked up my shit. And the other one they had was that, uh... The other one I tried was when they had the moonshine barbecue sauce or whatever. Oh, yeah. So I was like, oh, I'll get that. That shit was drier than a fucking grandma's pussy. Oof. Yeah, I was like, how the fuck you advertise these giant immaculate burgers? Which they, when they're made right, they are really good. But more often than not, they make them like shit. I always get one burger from there and it's a Frisco melt. I've tried, tried the red burrito. I think I tried that with you. Mm -hmm. It was good. Yeah, because I was like, you got to try their tacos. Yeah. They're they're pretty stellar. Because I never and thought I'd go to the burger place and order tacos. And that's not like that was a Burger King that had the, the crunchy tacos. Yeah. I'd never tried one of those. Yeah. I had no desire to. Um, but the red burrito tacos are bigger than a typical, like, way bigger than a mm -hmm. Taco Bell soft taco. And they're stuffed with meat. Yeah. And they're really good. I like them a lot. Now their sauce, if I could bring some Taco Bell sauce over <laughs> into the mix, it's okay because Hardy's taco sauce is, that, like, they, they mastered the art of the soft taco, but they did not master the art of the fucking sauce. I'm like, oh, you just bought this shit like taco sauce off the fucking, you know, supplier's <laughs> website. I'm like, oh, it's that crappy taco, oh, taco sauce. It kind of tastes like salsa, it kind of tastes like shit. <laughs> yeah I mean, it's okay but that's not what I wanted but I'll still eat the fuck out of your tacos they're really good that is the only burger place ever has made well I guess Red Burrito is secondary store because not all Hardee's have a Red Burrito I don't know if Carl's Jr. has Red Burritos actually oh I don't know, you know what Hardy, that is. Hardee's and Carl's Jr., oh, yeah, depending on your, the region that. of the United States, is, it's the same restaurant, just different name. Right. Yeah. Um, I've never actually seen a Carl's Jr. I haven't either. Um, but it's the same shit, different <laughs> name. But if, if I ever meet Carl, I'm going to tell him about his Mile High Bacon Bullshit Burger. <laughs> and I still got the pictures on my goddamn phone, and I'd show you right now if I wasn't taking this fucking video on my phone. I've never deleted that. <laughs> 
<laughs> that, that picture is years old and I still have it because it's embarrassing for a restaurant. Yeah. It always reminds me of the movie. Did you sit and watch Falling Down with us that one day? Probably not. <clears throat> that Michael Douglas, he's in the white button up shirt. Did you and he's my back? I don't the, know, babe. I, how many years and, ago? Uh, this year. I thought maybe you watched some of it with us. Oh, that will I actually got to watch that in the movie theaters with my uncle when it first came out. Really? Yes. And one of the greatest, greatest scenes in that fucking movie is he, uh, he goes to a restaurant and he's like three minutes late for breakfast. And he's wanting breakfast. You know, so he pitches a bitch. Mm hmm So... I believe, if my memory serves me correctly, he just gets a lunch burger or whatever. And he goes, or he opens it up, and he looks at it, and he looks at the picture on the menu, and he's like, can you tell me what's wrong with this picture? <laughs> anyway, he ends up, like, pulling out a machine gun or some shit in the store, and he's like, telling her, like, no, I'm not going to hurt you. He's like, he was pissed at then. But not the, and I think, uh, was that Samuel Jackson that came out? I kind of want to think that Samuel Jackson came in as a guy coming in to rob a store and ends up shooting him. Dave. But he paid for his food. Like, he paid for everything when he done this crazy shit. Yeah, it was a... I'm done, so stop tapping it. You've never told me to stop tapping it. Well, you're gonna get in tap tonight anyways. Oh, I know. I'm fucking tired, <laughs> and I should be in the bath right now. Why aren't you in the bath? It's not gonna... Help getting off early if I don't get shit done early. Well, we should have, uh, getting off. Oh, um, we should have done this while you're in the tub. No. Titties out. Titties out for COVID-19. <laughs> That's the dumbest shit ever. People at my job started calling it vid. Oh, God. Why can't we just call it the Rona? I think Not people quite. just tired of hearing about it. Have you it. seen that, uh... That, that, uh, super rich pastor, Kenneth Copeland? No. Like, he's way more wealthy than any of the other, like, Joel Osteen and all that. Mm-hmm. Um, he's been questioned about why he bought a private jet from Tyler Perry and all this shit, because they, they take all, you know, they take their, that pray-for-profit bullshit, and they get all their money, and, uh, he done, like, a private sermon with some guys and it was talking about COVID-19 and they made a song out of it and they remixed it and he's like oh, blowing God. it away in the fucking video and shit. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not Remind me, I gotta talk to you about something after this. Is it my testicular cancer? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Don't ever say that ever. What? You'll never have the C word. It kind of is important though. Yeah, well, It's for you and it's for your health. Well, when I was younger, I was like, oh, we had to learn about that in school, how to massage your balls. It's like getting a hot shower. And... Do you massage your balls? Oh, I check them every once in a while, yeah. I check my boobs every once in a while. I mean, I really do. Because this tip, <laughs> this tip, I didn't ever tell you this, but this tip was hurting. Mm -hmm. Like a few weeks ago. And it was like I had sharp pains in it. Ew. Kind of scared me. But no, I actually do check my balls. Uh, periodically. I, not I did have like, an interesting night at work because I did see somebody OD. Oh, yeah. I went to her break and there was this uh, fire truck and ambulance and another rescue vehicle. Please. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. Someone overdosed on, you said heroin and meth? And yes. had to give them three doses of Narcan? I'm sorry. After the first dose. I gave dose her one. Well, she was slumped over the steering wheel and she had a busted nose. From slumping over, I guess. But, um, they gave her one, and she was, like, semi-coming to. And they said they gave her two more through an IV on the way to the hospital. And then her pupils went, <sighs> And he said in that time, she was on meth as well. I guess it affects your pupils. Yeah. Here's, um, so, yeah, he was, like, it was interesting. Here's my thing with the Narcan. If it takes three doses to bring you back to life... Especially when diabetic patients have to pay an arm and a leg for their goddamn insulin. That shit pisses me off. I'll give you, I'll give you one. I, 
feeling nice. One dose of Narcan. I'm sorry, but if you're dumb enough to do that many drugs, yeah. then you deserve. Then you're trying to kill yourself. Yeah. that's what you want. Exactly. So I'm not going to revive you. Like I told her at the, I told her at work, I was like, I ever come rescue rest and put you on the gurney. I mean, I'm sorry it happened. It's a sad situation that the family. they they made the choice to take these drugs. It's not yeah. a fucking addiction. I do. Or it's not a it's not a disease. It's a fucking addiction. And you made the choice to start taking these bullshit drugs. And then do too much. And do too and much. I don't want to hear you say, I accidentally took too much. And you can't accidentally just don't fucking do it. It's like, not a fucking disease. And you're the one that's hurting your family. Not everybody else. Diseases are specifically classified. Addiction with anything is not a fucking disease. It's just a problem in your fucking head that you just need to control. That's the second time we had police at my job in a week. But it ain't a fucking disease. Actually, that's the second time in four days. I had a coworker that had a call. And I pray that our, I, I hope our fucking kids never do anything like that. But in the same token, if they do, that was their choice. And it, was, it wasn't a disease that killed them. You know what I mean? They made the dumb choice to fucking take it. It sucks. It's going to be horrible. But it wasn't a disease that fucking killed them. No. It was their stupidity doing shit we've taught them not to do from day one. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, happy Mulligar Tuesday. I'm McStud. I'm Mrs. McStud. This is going on her pussy later. Negative. Positive. Nothing's going on my fucking pussy. I'm going the fuck to sleep. <laughs> and if you wake me up by touching me, I might hurt you. I'm just telling you. I don't hear you say the word pussy very often. I mean, especially refer to your own. And you like, just nothing, giggle. Nothing is going in my pussy. <sighs> I'm just saying. I love you. Love you. We're out, deuces, bitches. <laughs>